Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Zach Vlogs. Today is Friday, uh, and today was a day. So, I have a lot to tell you guys, but let me go ahead and start off by saying there's the moon. Uh, so, I got this morning, and I had to go work out, and I didn't want to go work out because I hate working out. Nothing will ever change that. I don't care whatever anybody ever says. You're not doing the right thing. I just haven't found your 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 flow or your rhythm yet. And blah, blah, blah. No. I hate working out. I've always hated it. I will always hate it. You can't change that. Don't even try. And don't tell me some of these stupid bullcrap things like, oh, you just need to figure out something that you love to do. Well, I love to sleep, eat, and not work out. Anyway, sorry. Get off that rant. So anyway, I went and worked out today and it put me in a horrible mood because I worked out. Because every time I work out, I get angry and like depressed and it's just like I hate every minute of it. Um, and uh, so I was really mad and then I went to work and I was just not in a good mood. And then I quickly got in a good mood because I didn't like my job. And uh, then it was a pretty good day otherwise. We ended the night really well. It was just a good day. Um, but, so this is the first thing that I have to tell you guys. Uh, first of all... Um, so, okay, so I'm, I'm doing this job where I go around and just, like, make sure everybody's kind of being taken care of. And I see this little old lady, and she's just sitting there at the table, and she's, like, 90 years old or something like that. It's just ridiculous. And I'm like, hi, have you, have you been helped yet? Are you getting help? Like, are you getting a, like, are you waiting for an appointment? She goes, no, I'm waiting for my husband. He left me here. And I was like, oh, did he, like, go to the bathroom or something? And she goes... No, he just abandoned me here a couple hours ago, and I'm just sitting here all by myself, and I'm just like, uh, okay, are you okay? And she's like, oh, I'm fine. He'll come back, I think, I hope. And I'm like, okay, well, if you need anything, let me know, and I will come and help you. And I walked away. I was like, okay, that's really weird. So I made my rounds, and I started talking to other people and everything. And I came back to her just to see how she was doing, and I was like, so it's like, is he going to come back and get you? Or is like, ah, she's like, I don't know what he's doing. He just kind of left me here and I don't know what's going on. And I was like, well, is he okay? Like, should he be out on, on his own? And she goes, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with him these days. And I'm like, well, do we need to call the police? Like, is he missing? And she goes, I don't know where he is. And no, don't call the police because if you do, he'll get mad and then he'll beat me. And I just was like, um... Well, that's not good. We should definitely call the police then. She goes, no, don't do that. And I was like, well, yeah, but, but you shouldn't have to deal with that because that's not good. And she goes, no, it's just something I have to deal with. And I was like, no, it, it's not. We should definitely talk to somebody about that. And she said, I'll be all right. So I was like, okay, well, okay. And I'm like freaking out. And so I go and tell one of my managers what's happening. And as I'm telling one of my managers what's going on, like I'm freaking out. Like, I don't know what to do. Do we call the police? Is it real? Like, I don't know what's going on. Um, and then my, uh, my other friend walks in and I say, like, are you helping that lady? Cause he was like kind of near her with another person. And he goes, oh yeah, that's my customer's like mother. And she's got all Alzheimer's. And, and I was like, oh, and like, he was like, and like, and then it turns out like, it's like, it was the son that was there and not the husband and the son was just taking care of her. And she has like dementia or, or Alzheimer's and stuff like that. So like, it was just like crazy, but I was like freaking out. I didn't know what to do in that situation like what what do you like i didn't know i was freaking out uh it was like a, just a roller co coaster of emotions there though so that was my excitement for the day also my camera came home today so it's here it's in the box i haven't opened it up yet um because i just got home like 10 minutes ago but um but i'm gonna go open it and i'm gonna play around with it and just make sure everything looks good um but my camera's back so 276 dollars and four cents later in a week Later, I got my, my, my whole camera back, which is awesome. So I'm really excited about that. Also, road, um, which caused this whole issue in the first place, like the, the little part broke off. Um, I contacted them, and they sent me a replacement part. Um, I wish they would have just paid for the whole unit, but that's fine. Um, but they sent me a replacement part, which is awesome. So thank you for that for free, which is great. So, um, But yeah, <sighs> it's been a day freaking out though that that's that, like i was like on like my heart was like racing for like 30 minutes after that i was like freaking out but anyway i'm gonna go get some dinner probably just have some cereal and some chocolate milk because i love chocolate milk and uh yeah i hope you guys are all having a good day and uh a quick shout out to my friend 
Austin and uh, his boyfriend because um, they watch my vlogs and they think that it's fun. So um, thank you guys for watching. And I promise I will not have my lemonade on my computer stand. And I promise I will not drink an entire pitcher of lemonade uh, by myself. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Tell your friends. My camera's back. And as always, cool beans.